right, man. I said I was going to speak on this uh, today. I probably thought I was going to, whenever I post this, thought I was going to get to it Tuesday. But, hey, we here whenever this go up. And, you know, a lot of people, some fans and some people on the channel, subs brought it up that uh, Jay Nivey was submitting too much or, you know, deferring too much to Kay Cunningham. And I was like, man, I don't want y'all to drive a wedge, a wedge through them. Some people saying he need to realize that he better. This that I'm not here to debate that, right? Um, but I agree with a lot of y'all brothers were saying. Now, I think Jay Nivey is just too passive when it comes to K Cunningham. <clears throat> I don't think he demanding the ball. I don't think you know he trying to be the guy. He just sit there and you know he wait for K to give him the ball like everybody else. I think he need to be more aggressive and calling for the ball. I think. You know, and it might be the the relationship between him and uh and Monty Williams, where he don't want to overstep his boundaries, and they already butted heads, and they just don't like each other. And sometimes it happens. You had Jay Crowder who said he didn't really like Monty Williams. That factored into his playing time in Phoenix. You had DeAndre Aiden who didn't really like Monty Williams. So you know, from time to time, you heard people not like him. You know. And uh, he was forced to play Jay and Ivy. And people talked about Ivy performance and how he wasn't good this year and all that. And, you know, one again, once again, I'm playing with a guy who didn't tell, didn't tell me I was coming off the bench. I'm playing for a guy who basically said Killian Hayes and Marcus Sasser, he said that, played better with K than I did. It wasn't about how guys play with me. It was all about K Cunningham. I mean, he made a comment saying, you know, coming into the season or last season, K's our lead. Or this is season. K's our leader and this man, fuck all that, man. He need to go out there and be the man. Don't defer to him. I think it's too much deferring to K Cunningham saying, well, this is his team. He's not done a goddamn thing for it to be his team. Let me let me say that again. I know people go, oh, you hating. I'm not hating. I'm speaking facts. He's not done anything credible to say this is his team. And don't give me a bunch of numbers. Numbers are numbers. It ain't too hard to put up numbers on a bad team. I mean, this ain't even a bad team. This is atrocious. This is the abomination of the proclamation of the assumption nation in my Don King voice. Like, this shit, this is beyond that, you know. But I think Ivy need to have more alpha in them. But I think the issue with that is Monty. You know, I think he's just going through the motions. You know, and I think it's hurting his development as well, too. I think he need to be like, yo, hey, hey, give me this ball. Come on, man. You go. Uh, let me run the offense a little bit. Let me go on the attack mode a little bit. He went on a stretch this year. He was shot to shooting the ball. We're going on the tier. I went to that Orlando game in Detroit. He was on the tier and Kay Cunningham didn't look his way again. Assert yourself. Be more assertive. How about that? You was a high pick, too. You you worthy, too. You athletic, too. You can get buckets, too. Call for the ball. Get the ball. Shit, Kobe didn't give a fuck. They stopped passing the ball. Kobe started rebounding and ball hogging to get his point across. Sometimes you need to be selfish. You know? Sometimes you need to be selfish. Sometimes you need to be selfish. And sometimes you need to be... Going out there, going to get the rebound, pushing his cell, looking to get to the rim, looking to get to a spot. He deferring to K Cunningham too much. And a lot of them guys is. Not just talk about Ivy. Dern should get his big ass on the block and demand the ball. But first and foremost, he need to defend. He's a lazy him and I and Stewart is some lazy mofos when they come to come to defense. They lazy. You know? But Ivy need to be more aggressive. I felt like the same way about Sadiq Bay, just too passive. This is why when Jeremy Grant was here, he was taking all the shots he wanted to. Stop being so passive. Stop being so passive. Be the, be the man. Be the man. Go get the rock. Go get the rock. Go be aggressive. Call for the ball. But all that he's sitting over there, you know, watching K do his thing. We're hoping that he get the ball. Nah. 
You got to let it be known, man. Now, if y'all winning games and it's working that way, y'all in the playoffs, riding that wave, then you be a team player. But if something ain't working, somebody got to step up and say something. And maybe they, they are. Maybe they are. But it'd be nice to see him kind of say, you know what, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a good player too. I'm a dog too. I'm a high drive pick too. I can handle the rock too. And just, you know, sit back and watch Kay Cunningham just dominate the ball. Come on, you you need to have that idea. You need to have that swagger like, you know what? I'm the shit too. Like, you don't need to be his robbing all the time. Like, sometimes you could be Batman. And it's hard to find a rhythm when somebody else got the basketball all the time. And, and people tell the time to tell me, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm like, man. How, I'm, how are we supposed to contribute if we watching one guy dribble the ball all day? How? And then when we do get the ball, we lethargic and we cold. That's one thing that Sadiq Bay never did here, and they they seem like this it's a common thing. During, I mean, maybe they in love with the lifestyle. We young, we get money. I don't know what it is. You know, outside of K Cunningham, it don't seem like they got too many alphas on this team, bro. At all. It's nobody here trying to assert themselves, trying to outside of K that really want, and maybe that's just the way it is in the locker room. Maybe that's what they preaching. You know. Maybe that's what they preaching. I don't know, but you know, he need to assert himself and, and, and be more more dominant. He need to look at it as I'm Batman, you Batman. I wouldn't even be mad and say, look, I'm bad. Dude, what you doing, K? We losing. I'm Batman. You sit and be robbing and watch watch a master at work or watch me try. Never happened this year. But hey, it is what it is. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. I do appreciate y'all for chat, tapping in. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Let me know if you feel the same way. You feel different um, in the comment section. But don't forget, hit the link tree. Instagram, Facebook, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Spotify, Anchor. All in there. Peace.